the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold. Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no. right? This is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy and won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of motivation. He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Conor McGregor he has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind cannot break in front of a hot chip because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makashi. Islam Makashi, we are set for our main event of the evening. the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Champion of the world, Islam Makachev. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the tricks and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Excellent pressure here from top position by Islam Akasha. Down with his mouth.
McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Proud Ireland native, Conor McGregor seems to have found his range early here tonight. It's amazing what he has done, not just for the sport of mixed martial arts, but for the profile of Ireland. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. Lands a nice jab there. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown a many at all. McGregor's kick is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Mahasha getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. One minute to go here in the opening round. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. There's a takedown attempt. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land up there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Nice work that way. The striking looks awesome. Let's keep that up. I want to see... All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two underway. There and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Whoa. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Right thigh really starting to show some bruising. Great timing on that double leg. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Islam Makashev. Oh, gonna pull it up here. Flying triangle attempt. I mean, he pulled him right down into a triangle choke. He's got the feet up around the neck. He's gonna try to advance him now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you've got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to the base, find places to rest and recover, get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He hurt him bad, but couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off 
And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot. Yeah. This is crazy. Takedown defense holds up. Under a minute now to go. shot he would not find the success that he intends to get all right so there is the horn the round is over he certainly stunned his opponent there big round from mcgregor all right so there's the horn signifying the end of the round a stunner there with the head strike midway through nearly got him out of there for good almost got him out of there he hurt him badly he had his opponent hurt real bad now his opponent's walking back to his corner everybody looks confused they don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Trying to establish that jab once again. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That strike blocked by Connor. He's got that single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Takedown defense is there. start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Makashev's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Chef goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Back and forth we go. Physically, obviously compromised. Mentally, we'll see if his corner can keep his head in this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He heard it bad. He went right to the liver. Boom, landed it on the sweet spot. And was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body.
You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five. Five. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike. Oh, oh man, I'm so feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He's in real trouble now. Might get the TKO here. Herb Dean steps in. Holy smokes. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the 